فردام شریف ایران من شهریار افشار هستم میزبان شما در برنامه politics365.com امروز یه مهمان خیلی برجسته در سیاست در میونه سیاست مداره کانادا به برنامه پیوسته خانم ملیسا لنچمن همونطوری که میدونین ما در این برنامه سعی میکنیم با سیاست مدارا، اکتیویستا، کارشناسا تمام افرادایی که سراسر دنیا یه نقشی دارن در این جنبش ملی که ایرانی ها ایران به عهده گرفتن بتونیم صدای اونا باشیم تا اونجا که میتونیم صدای سیاست مدارا رو بیاریم تو برنامه و تا اونجا که میتونیم به اون اکتیویستا و به اون واقعا این فداکاری که ایرانی در ایران در ایران دارن میکنن تا اونجا که میتونیم صداشون باشیم خلاصه تا اونجایی که توانایی داشته باشیم اگه با ما بخواید تماس بگیرین پیامی دارین سوالی دارین گفتگوی دارین موضوعی میخواین ما جستجو کنیم شخصیتی میخواین ما باش مصاحبه کنیم خواهش میکنم با من تماس بگیرین ایمیل من هست info@politics365.com این پیام شخصا به خودم میرسه و تا اونجایی که بتونم خوشحال میشم پیامتون رو دریافت کنم و تا اونجایی که میتونم جواب بدم همه سوالا و که داشته باشین در این برنامه خب پس بریم دوباره برنامه امروز خانم ملیسا لنچمن عضو مجلس کانادا ملیسا لنچمن ممبر پارلمنت اف کانادا ویلکم تو اور پروگرام وی سو اپریشیت یور تایم اند یور پریویس کامنتس اون ایران اند ایران ایران اند امریکنز بات ایران اند کانادینز اند ریلی واتس گوینگ اون ان ایران سو پلیز تل اس ا لیتل بیت ابات یور رول ان دی پارلمنت وات What do you do? How did you get into public service? And give me a chance to translate right after. Thank you so much. For sure. So thanks. First of all, thanks for uh, for having me. I am the member of parliament uh, for uh, for a place called Thornhill, which is just north of uh, Toronto, which is just on the border of a place called Richmond Hill, which I'm sure your listeners know one or two people uh, uh, in. So I am uh, I'm also the deputy leader of uh, of the Conservatives, and we are the official uh, opposition in uh, in in Canada. So we're not in government just yet, but uh, our job is to hold that government. government uh, to account on issues across the board for Canadians uh, and uh, in this case for this conversation specifically for uh, Iranian Canadians uh, and, uh, and and frankly the right side of history and human rights democracy and the rule of law around the world. Thank you, thank you uh, Melissa. I want to thank you for the opposition group of the Majesty of Canada and the work is that نخست وزیر کانادا را به اصطلاح مسئول بدونن درباره تمام روابطی که در مورد ایران و ایرانیا داشته داشتن و اون استانی که ایشون مسئولش هستن تورنتو که خب همونطوری که شنوندگان میدونن یه مرکز ایرانی های مقیم کانادا است thank you for for that explanation so looking at um, at really what is going on in, with events in Iran Um, what have you been hearing from your constituents uh, in and around Toronto, the Iranian Canadians? So I didn't ask you as Iranian Mugham Canada, she missed them and issue and that now that is when she has one Thomas to get Iran. Yeah, Megan. Thank you. Well, first of all, they're not just our constituents. They're our friends and they're our neighbors and they're our co-workers and uh, they're in a community that I grew up alongside with, uh, not directly in. So. Uh, by the time we do the next one, hopefully my my Farsi will be in a, good enough to understand what's what's going on. But look, this is this is uh, this is about taking a a stand for what is right in the world and what is good in the world uh, and what again what is the right side of uh, of of history. When you see a people being persecuted and their resistance and their rising up uh, from young people to those who are older from poets to architects to professors to everybody in civil society in Iran um, standing up to the mullahs and the regime then you know that there is something happening there's something happening that has never happened in my lifetime something happening that we cannot ignore and more importantly something that is happening that canadians uh, and americans and frankly everybody in the free and democratic world that uh, that irania that the iranian community has fled to needs to support uh, and needs to speak out against thank you uh, issue for what i think uh, uh, not on her you know i'm going to canada 
به اصطلاح در استانی که ایشون نمایندش هستن زندگی میکنن اما دوستای ایشون هستن و افرادی هستن که به اونا ایشون دوست و رفیق و آشنا و فامیل میدونن و باشون یه صمیمیت خیلی خوبی دارن و با توجه به این حوادثی که در ایران اتفاق افتاده ایشون فهمیدن که ما باید مطمئن باشیم که تاریخ قضاوت مثبتی از ما بکنه و تا اونجا که میتونیم اگه میبینیم که ایران آزاد خار و دولت ایران داره سرکوب میکنه مسئولیت داریم که یه صدایی برای اونا باشیم و یه مقاومتی بکنیم So uh, thank you, Melissa, for that explanation. Um, as you look at, uh, you know, I've seen Canada and various voices in Canada, Canadian government, say things about Iran and 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 try to uh, hold the Iranian government accountable. What has the parliament done and what has the prime minister done uh, to really good or bad on this issue? So look, I'm 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 going to be very honest. Canada has not done enough. Um, Canada has not done uh, what traditionally um, the 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 role that we've played in the world uh, again on the on the right side of history. The and the the biggest issue um, that we have and we can get into is if you if you remember the downing of Flight Seven Five Two, that was uh, the 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 airliner. They killed fifty five Canadians. They killed 30 permanent residents. Now that does maybe doesn't seem like a big number for the for 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 the U.S., but we're about a tenth of your side, and every Canadian life matters. And the very fact of the matter is is that when you kill Canadians, and when you organize and you raise money, and you are a known terrorist entity that that. Uh, that uh, that is allowed to function in Canada. There is nobody in Canadian Parliament that should stand for that. That should allow that to happen in their communities. That should allow the Iranian com- Canadian community to be fearful in their own homes, in their own cities, in their own towns. Uh, and so I will say this to the government: they haven't done enough. They haven't p- p- pursued the prosecution uh, in a meaningful way on PS five seven five two. They haven't listened. the Iranian regime as the terrorist organization that they are uh, and they haven't frankly it was it's just been words uh, from uh, from the Canadian government and my job is to make sure that those words are actions and Iranian Canadians feel safe like every other single Canadian to work live and play in our community thank you ایشون فهم بودن که با توجه به هواپمایی که جمهوری اسلامی نابود کرد و افراد بیش از پنجاه نفر کانادایی که فوت کردن در اون حادثه مسئولیت ایشونه که دولت کانادا رو مسئول بدونه و بیشتر بخواد دولت کانادا که انجام بدن مخصوصا از نظر لیست کردن جمهوری اسلامی به یک یک حزب تروریست و واقعا اقدام بیشتر ببینه دولت کانادا که کانادیا ایرانیا و کانادایی که ایرانی کانادایی که مقیم کانادا هستند بتونند از کشورشون راحت زندگی کنند بدون اینکه نماینده هاشون مسئول مردمشون هستند و میخوان یه آینده بهتری داشته باشن برای خودشون so you know you mentioned this a little bit uh, you referred to it a little bit um, but as you know the Iranian diaspora all over the world They are looking for where relatives of the regime are finding safe havens or homes. Uh, because Canada is such a wonderful country and has been such a liberal uh, immigration uh, policy, uh, it has become home to many Iranians. Successful, vibrant, just amazing people, as you know, uh, in Canada. But unfortunately, some uh, of the regime elements, relatives, have uh, slipped through. Uh, and that has become a sore point for a lot of Iranians in around the world. You know, why is the they characterize it as the government isn't doing anything to hold the relatives of the regime that are living a beautiful life in Canada to account. So, uh, what what is your response to that? And let me just quickly translate that. How much do you think the Iranians know? Iranians that the Fakaf family or friends. و بالاخره نسبتی دارن به جمهوری اسلامی در کانادا زندگی میکنن تونستن در کانادا اقامت بگیرن 
و سوال اینه که دولت کانادا چیکار میتونه بکنه در این مورد واسه اینکه خیلی از ایرانی های دی تو دیاسپورا و سراسر دنیا از این موضوع خیلی ناراحتن حساسن و میخوان دولت ها بیشتر اقدام های خیلی محکم تری پیگیری کنن Thank you, Melissa. Go ahead. So the community is unfortunately absolutely right. Um, I have been there um, from well before just these protests, uh, these mass protests have, have, have become watching ordinary people do extraordinary things to stand up uh, to a regime that has been so oppressive um uh, it's undignified and and uh and and has just thrown away you know the the most basic freedoms and uh and, and the most basic tenets of, of of democracy we have we have watched a, a a community rise up and unfortunately um the community is absolutely right we have reports of of the chief of, of police of tehran working out in a gym about 10 minutes from 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 where i live and if i was Uh, if I was somebody in that community who had relatives, who had a history of, uh, of, of, of oppression in Iran, I wouldn't feel safe in my community. And that's exactly why we've continued from the first day to call on the, the government to list the IRGC as, uh, as the terrorist organization that they are. That would have an effect on who we allow into this country. We have called for the RCMP to investigate various cases of people that live in my own community. I have people call me with a blurred out background in their car away from their homes because they are terrified in a country as good and as safe as Canada. Uh, that should never happen. So we've called on the RCMP, which is our police, uh, our national police force, to investigate those that are here and to make sure that where possible, we boot these people out of the country and we stop them from raising money, from organizing and from terrorizing a community here. And we will continue to do that until the very day that this government wakes up and actually speaks for the Iranian Canadian community or on such a day, a better day when they have a conservative government in Canada who will actually do the right thing. Thank you. Uh, I would like to say that in this case, the people of Iran are all right. These people, the families of the Sepah and the Islamic community are not required to come to Canada. And they said that with the police نشنال ملی کانادا تماس گرفتن و شکایت این افراد کردن که تا اونجایی که میتونن تا اونجایی که قانون کانادا اجازه میده اینا رو از کانادا بیرون کنند از اون لحاظ کاملا حمایت میکنن ایشون از مردم ایران و مردم کانادا و پیگیری میکنن این موضوع رو ملسا اینی فاینال ثاتس فور وات وات تو لک فورورد تو ای تینک این دی نیکست الیکشن این دی نیکست یر There's so much happening on this front every day. It seems like for, for certain that we can find some uh, opportunities to uh, exchange or build bridges with the people of Iran that are freedom fighters and suffering and uh, dealing with so many issues. So, so Allah man has to ask that what is it? In Canada, what can we do? 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 Canada va ba in mozu. Thank you so much Melissa. Go ahead. Absolutely. We will always continue the 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 fight in the diaspora for for freedom and to make sure look I don't I don't purport to know what Iran looks like over the next 44 years but I do know that it will look nothing like it did in the next 44 years if we stand we are committed and we are resolute to doing the right thing in each of our countries uh, and and my part is to do it in in Canada and I see lots of lawmakers in the US also standing up and I will leave you with this thought I'm not from the Persian community. Um, I, uh, I, uh, many friends, uh, many, many, many work colleagues, um, many neighbors, but I'm not from, but I know well enough, I'm from the Jewish community. And I know that when you see oppression and you see hate and you see bigotry and you see things that aren't right, that you stand up 
just as if it was happening to you. And that has always been the case from the Iranian community and as it always will be the case from the Jewish community. Uh, and uh, and I, am, I am proud to have, uh, to, to, to be at the forefront of, uh, of that friendship in knowing what the right thing to do is uh, and making sure that we root this out of our country and that we never look back on an Iran of the last 44 years and that we visit together a free Iran in, uh, in, uh, in the future when we can benefit from everything that the Persian community has given the world and have it back. Thank you, thank you, Melissa. Uh, uh, گرچه ایرانی نیستن uh, کلیمی هستن و یه آشنایی دارن با uh, uh, سرکوبی دولت یا فشارای یه حزبی که به اقلیتش زور میگه و ایشون فهم بودن که خیلی این موضوع رو میخوان پیگیری کنن که به یه ایران آزاد برسن که به یه روزی واقعا ایران به اون آینده ای که حقش برسه ملیسا لنسمن ممبر پارلمنت کانادا تینکیو سو مچ کیپ آر ایرانیان فرنز این تورانتو ویل وی ار سو هپی دیت دی ار این گود هنز ویت یو And we will continue this conversation. We are at your service. If you ever want to speak with the community, uh, I am hopeful that this program will continue to thrive and reach Iranians all over the world uh, as we continue this important uh, movement together uh, with all freedom fighters, whether in Canada uh, or the U.S. Uh, thank you so much, Melissa Lansman. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you.